Hey, what's up y'all? Bushel Billy here on my daily jog down through the farm. And this morning, as most mornings, I asked myself why. <laughs> and the the simple answer is that we're I'm trying to force myself into a calorie deficit, right? Trying trying to shed a few pounds and lose a little weight. And so by getting my heart rate up and jogging, burning more calories, trying to burn more calories than I consume, and then as I jog along and, and breathe and try to catch my breath, this just isn't gasping for life. You know, this, this is the byproducts of those calories and those extra pounds being exhaled out of the body, right? <clears throat> and so I paused here to catch my breath, but also thinking about the corn plants in this heat wave are much doing the same thing and could very possibly be running into a, a calorie deficit. So if we think about how a corn plant makes corn, we have photosynthesis during the day, which produces the sugars, and we have respiration in the plants, which consume the sugars. So essentially we've got energy in, energy out, calories in, calories out. Well, currently we're in the middle of a bodacious heat wave and the production of corn the metabolism of corn is regulated by heat and sunlight and so maximum energy production for corn happens somewhere around 85 86 degrees right that's as much photosynthesis as it can make during the day as much sugar as it can make during the day at night photosynthesis quits but depending on what the air temperatures are, the factory's still turning and still consuming. So all the sugars that a corn plant makes during the day has to be enough to sustain it through the night. And we have, have two metabolic needs in the corn plant. We have plant maintenance, which repairs all the cell damage, mends all the stress that happened to these corn plants during the day. And then we have grain production. So whatever sugars, whatever energy the corn plant doesn't use for maintenance to keep the plant alive, it'll use to make grain, right? So in order for the corn plant to perform maintenance and, and repair itself, you gotta shut the factory down. Sound familiar? Closed for maintenance, right? This factory shuts down at 50 degrees. Now, we can run it at partial capacity and have plenty of extra energy to do maintenance. So as nighttime temperatures dip down in below 60 into the 50s, the factory shuts down. We've got plenty of energy for maintenance and repairs and whatever's left over goes into grain fill. Fair enough. Now what we've seen in this heat wave, daytime temperatures well into the 90s, that maxes out the corn's energy production but also as we go past that 85 86 degree mark that's extra stress that's extra wear and tear that's extra maintenance needs on the plant especially if in pockets like this where we add drought stress this is a pretty good little patch here but we can see drought stress on up the drive a little bit uh, that adds additional stress additional damage to the plant during the day additional maintenance needs our nighttime temperatures have been in the mid 70s low to mid 70s and some studies suggest that for every six degrees above 50, so 56, 62, 68, every six degrees of temperature, nighttime temperature over 50, you double metabolic needs of that plant, okay? So we're running way hot in the low to mid 70s. So the factory never closes for maintenance. It's just chugging and chugging and chugging and consuming sugar, consuming sugar. So what you can run into is we have additional caloric needs from grain fill, from heat stress, from drought stress, and then the factory doesn't close at night for repairs. It just runs all night long. And what can quickly happen is these corn plants go into a calorie deficit. In that scenario, we don't have enough sugar left over to make grain. So ideally, we would have daytime temperatures in the 80s. 
maxing out the amount of sugar production these plants can do. And then we cool off below the 60s at night, close the factory down, and any excess sugars that were made during the day that aren't needed for plant maintenance, we add to grain fill, okay? And there's some studies that show that there's as much as 15% of your yield, which could be 10 to 30 bushel, is determined at grain fill with test weight, kernel depth, kernel size, all those wonderful things. And, you know, once we get past R4, R5, we're sitting at R5 today, you know, we're not aborting any kernels. The number of kernels is fixed. You know, the rows around were determined long ago. The length of the rows were determined here about 30 days ago. Now the kernels are set, so it's a matter of how deep and how heavy we can make them. So some studies a few years ago show, especially if we look at growing seasons, back-to-back uh, -back growing seasons where nighttime temperatures were 8 to 10 degrees above the other, that the plant biomass is significantly reduced when you have nighttime temperatures that get up into that 70 degree mark. Now these plants aren't growing anymore. They're not getting any taller. They're not getting any bigger around. So all that biomass accumulation is in the ear. Makes sense. So if we're running through a stretch of nighttime temperatures of 70 degrees and we're not adding biomass or even worse, losing biomass in these plants, that means we're not filling grain. If we have cooler nighttime temperatures and we're increasing the biomass of these plants every night through excess sugar, we're eating plenty of happy meals during the day, we're resting at night, we have a calorie surplus, plenty of sugar, then we're going to increase biomass and that's going to happen in these kernels. Now, in this current scenario, this heat wave, where we're at risk of running a calorie deficit because we're stressing the plant out again during the day it's running all night, it's not resting. What does the plant do to make up for that calorie deficit? The first thing that happens is, is we quit adding biomass, like we just mentioned, we quit, we quit grain fill. All that additional stress limits the amount of repair these plants can do overnight, which races the plant towards physiologically maturity, black layer, which means we shorten our grain fill period. So every night we have an opportunity to add weight and depth to these kernels. If the additional stress and the lack of ability to repair itself shorten grain fill 5, 10, 15, 20 days, those are significant opportunities to add test weight and yield to this crop. In severe cases where we could see some drought or other stresses, if we run into a calorie deficit, the plant starts relocating resources and typically what we call firing up. So these bottom leaves start to fire up. It's, cons it's finding the extra calories it needs just to run the maintenance cycle and the lower canopy. We start at the lower leaves and we work our way up to the ear leaf. And then once we get to the ear leaf, uh, that, that's game over as far as grain production, right? So the corn plant in severe cases will start, it'll consume the lower canopy. You can see these brown leaves down through the rows there. If that's not enough, it'll start to hollow out the stock. And we see severe drought stress in the stock and we have weak, brittle, hollow stocks to support this going in the harvest. So, daytime temperatures are one thing, drought stress is another, but these nighttime temperatures are significant and it's important to understand that in this heat wave where we can't shut the factory down for maintenance, where we can't get this corn the ability to rest at night, to fill grain, add weight at night, two things are happening. We don't have any sugar left over for grain fill, or we have very little sugar left over for grain fill, and we don't have enough to maintain and rest the plant which shortens grain fill, period. So instead of a 60 day, we may be looking at 40 days of grain fill. So, um, just wanted to stop, catch my breath, because it's a half mile back to my truck, and I'm not looking forward to it. But also, you know, most of the Corn Belt right now is caught in this heat wave, and you could have what seemed to be a really great crop coming on 
uh, up until this point, but it's important to know that if, if we can't get these plants shut down at night, if we can't get them to catch their breath and lower their calorie consumption, then we don't have enough to finish grain fill. Is it going to be the end of the world? Probably not. Is it going to take the top end off some of these fields? Certainly, especially when you add in the other stressors that that's more repair and maintenance and it's just additional load on that plant that needs to be met before we can make grain, before we can add starch to these kernels. So um, that's about it in a nutshell. Hope you learned something. Uh, I'd invite you along with this next half mile. Isn't, isn't going to be pretty. But uh, if you got questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, shoot me a DM, whatever. But hope you learned something. Be safe.